Well, welcome to Monday Inspiration, everybody listening to me. I am so, so excited to be here today to share, you know, this few minutes with each and every one of you. Now, as always, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, turn on post notification. If you are streaming live from YouTube, all you need to do is click the subscribe button and there's a bell icon. You turn on post notification and then we're good to go. Now, as always, as always, my desire is to help you get to a point where you hit momentum and then arrive at stability level. But to get to this, you obviously know you have to get better because for things to get better, you have to get better. For things to change, you have to change. It all begins with you. So you are important, a very, very important aspect in that plan. And we are here today to sort out very, very key things that if you take to heart, December will be a whole lot different. And God so willing, you make it to 2021, which obviously you are going to make it. You apply all this I'll be sharing with you. Your 2021 will never remain the same. For those that will be staying till the end, I have a special offer for you. A very, very special offer. Something that has actually... Should I share? Yes, I'll share. Something that has actually helped me um, within this whole year, just switch up my social media presence. So if you'd want that, you just have to stay to the end. Advantage. So whatever you're doing, there is not everything, everything you're looking for in life is in the book. Current levels. Yes, um, let me write. Being consistent Every weekly, being pushing, consistent pushing. monthly, being consistent daily. <sighs> Why won't you, do you think it's going to be more successful? Lloyd. And being in business, there's a big difference. And what I was so doing, understand, was, understand that I just I was trying when to you alone, become an entrepreneur or as an entrepreneur, you can not just my see alone. Teamwork always nobody has actually got to, to talk to if you. Really, really, really want to get to nobody has ever, nobody will ever. Afternoon, that evening, you know, two four seven. Yeah. I give up levels. I give up competing. iPhone is not be honest. I didn't blow. I didn't blow. It is now. Now is the right time, to but your goals have to be smart. Very, Actually, very huge change. It. No. Ignore what you like. Ignore what you're comfortable you with. Ask yourself what yeah, principles to business. Open. Okay. Just I wasn't consistent. Planned. You know, I had this job mentality that this is this is like a work. Now, obviously, I made a pre-announcement that today we'll be talking about my personal lessons I actually learned being a blogger okay being a blogger now the tag there unsuccessful blogger you have to understand it carefully okay you have to understand it carefully what's my definition of being unsuccessful but we are here today so you can learn from the mistakes i made and perhaps you are in the field being a blogger or whatever platform you're using whatever business you are using you can apply one or two things i'll be sharing here and scale up your business now, when it comes to life, you have two options, okay? Focus on the success of other people and use that as a blueprint to become successful. Or you learn from their mistakes. This is the easiest way for you to just uh, build up your business or build up your brand. Whatever field you are into, who has succeeded in this field before, you use that blueprint who has actually failed in this field before. And you get to know what that person did wrong and you avoid it. Because it won't make sense. Somebody has taken his whole 10 years to work something out and you have the blueprint and it can take you just a year to hit up that person's level and you ignore that information and you tell yourself you want to build from the scratch. No, 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 no. Don't do that again here. So somebody has done the hard work. All you need to do is do the smart work. Smart work. Welcome to the generation of smart work. Okay? So no stress. So um, a few years back, five, seven years ago, I, you know, I just wanted to do something new, aside from fashion, and I started blogging. So I didn't know how it worked, but, you know, I was fortunate to just run up one or two posts, 
um, go to hear about Linda KG, Kobongi blog, you know. So modern Nigerian bloggers, they were just, you know, Bella Ninja, they were killing it. So I was like, okay. So they could actually just, you know, create stuff, contents, people read through, they make money. So while trying to like figure it out, I was just making moves, okay? So um, I got the hang of it and I registered with Blogger, opened up a blog and, you know, everything started moving. And it was amazing. It was amazing, it was fun, it was stressful. It was everything combined. Fast forward gradually, I got better, I got better and, you know, but, but I lacked, I lacked a whole lot, a whole lot while doing that. And, you know, I'm here today to share with you my experiences so that you get to understand that at first I, I didn't, I didn't, I lacked the knowledge of, you know, entrepreneurship, what to do, what not to do, how, how I'm supposed to do this, how I'm not supposed to do it. I was just doing my thing and I messed it up, but I got better. Because anybody can get better, but you have to be intentional about it. So today I'm going to share with you 10, 10 key lessons, okay? Aside from the thousands of lessons I learned, okay? 10 key things I really, really learned while being a blogger. And you can apply this into entrepreneurship, into your business, into your brand. And if you take note of all this, if you take note of all this, you'll be able to scale up anything. Anything. Now, for the fact that somebody failed at a venture, it doesn't stop another person from succeeding at it. Listen to me. For the fact that Mr. A did it and failed, it's not stopping Mr. B from doing it and succeeding at it. And I'll share with you why. Because the same blogging I'm telling you I had these issues with somebody is somewhere any millions of it. So learn from my mistakes. And if you decide to go down this path, Avoid these mistakes. It is very, very paramount, important that you avoid these mistakes I made. Now, the first is with entrepreneurship, whatever it is, find your niche. Find your niche. Don't be um, somebody that is neither hot nor cold. You know, you are just general. You have to find your strength. If you are a dancer, what specific dance are you focused on? Is it traditional dance? What specific traditional dance are you focused on? You get me? Now, when you find that there is always a market that would listen to you, that you can go and dominate. If you are going to be looking generally, you just be competing. But the goal in business is not just to compete, but to dominate. So always find your niche. If you're a singer, what kind of songs do you sing? Break it down. If it's gospel, is it hip-hop gospel? Is it rap gospel? Break it down to the barest minimum. There is always a specific market waiting for you there. If it's rap, is it Igbo rap, Hausa rap, Yoruba rap? You get me? So find your niche. It's important, very, very important to find your niche. Because once, once you have... Once you are in your strengths, okay, you never get tired. But if you're trying to do everything generally, 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 nah, 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 you are, you've lost focus and you just wear down easily. But once you have a focus, this is it, okay? Nothing is holding you back. So always, always look for your niche. Before you begin anything, find your niche, find your niche, study your niche and learn how exactly you can go there and dominate. That's one. Number two is mentorship. You can never, ever, never, ever, nobody has gotten to the top without mentorship. Show me somebody that is succeeding, and I'll show you the person's mentor. Show me somebody that is failing, and I'll tell you he doesn't have a mentor, because we know that's why he's failing, okay? These are secrets. They don't, they don't teach this in school, okay? It's either you... <laughs> you're learning the hard way or you're learning the smart way, which most of you are doing right about now. So get a mentor. You have to get a mentor. Mentor is somebody that has walked that path. So he gives you his 10-year experience and you work it out in a year. You work it out in two years, but he has the blueprint. He knows what he's doing. He has the result. He has everything. And you desire to be at that level and even more than that level. So you look for a mentor. How do you get a mentor? It's simple. 
Some mentors you have to pay for. Some they don't even know you, you are literally their mentee. Okay, you can access them online, access their materials. You learn, you read, you develop yourself. But guess what? If you don't hold yourself accountable, nothing is going to work. Nothing. So having a mentor is one thing, okay? And applying whatever your mentor is giving to you is another thing. And most people, most people tend to just stick to one mentor. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way, okay? Nobody succeeds with just one single mentor. Because we are humans and we have other aspects of our lives. So if you have a mentor that is good in this field, okay, you get a mentor that is good with videos, that is good with images, that is good with text, that is good with, you know, content, that is good with graphics. You need all of them. You need all of them combined. So with them working on you, it's easier for you to develop yourself to the level that you desire to be. As easy as that. So having a mentor is very, very paramount. It's very, very important. The next thing there is find the blueprint. Obviously, once you get a mentor, you have somebody that has the blueprint. Study the blueprint and apply the blueprint. The, the issue most of the time is that somebody somebody comes and, and you know, you're giving the blueprint. This is it. So this is the blueprint. Follow all this and you become successful. And what we do is that we like, we, we want to start editing, editing. We want to edit the blueprint. But the blueprint has always been working. And will still be working for somebody else that wants to use it. So why would you get the blueprint and want to edit the blueprint? You use the blueprint to your advantage. So whatever you are doing, there is nothing new, nothing new on it right about now. Okay. Anything that is coming up has already been tried before, tested before somebody failed at it, somebody is succeeding at it. They have the blueprint. Just, just ask. Okay. Successful entrepreneurs ask. Interesting questions, smart questions, good questions. Ask the right questions and the right answers will come to you. Somebody has a blueprint. Go get the blueprint. Use the blueprint. Whatever you are doing, you can drop a comment. We'll sort out the blueprint together. It's not difficult. There is a blueprint for everything. Look for that blueprint. Scale up your business or scale up, scale up your brand or whatever you are doing. As easy as that. Everything you're looking for in life is in a book. Yes, you heard me right. Everything you're looking for in this world, it is in a book seated somewhere. Until you decide to look for that book, pick up that book and read that book, you are still going to be where you are complaining and giving excuses as to why you haven't achieved what you desire to achieve. Another key reason, there's something something I, I learned the hard way was, you know, consistency. Consistency breeds mastery. Because I was just I was just blogging and you know doing it when I like doing it. Um, but for you to succeed, whatever you are doing, you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. Do you desire you know on different levels? Um, being consistent weekly, being consistent monthly, being consistent daily. Okay, you have to do it. You don't have to like it, but do it because it produces results. And results is the name of the game. Result equals conversion. Conversion equals uh, what are we not seeing, ladies and gentlemen? Consistency is key. If you if you if you want to become an entrepreneur and succeed at it, you just have to accept the fact that you have to be consistent. If you do not intend to be consistent, then just forget about it. Quit right about now. Quit. Because this is key. Any any successful person will tell you, you know, I was consistent at it. I wasn't seeing results. I kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. <sighs> Why won't you want to be consistent? Somebody just told you, this is what made me successful. And you're thinking twice about it. And you're still doing it the days you feel like doing it. Then you can never arrive at that person's results. Or with that person's results impossible so you have to decide to be consistent let me tell you a story so um the difference between okay the difference between mr john who has a business and makes 
a seal. Listen to me. He makes a seal or opens up his door once a month. And Mr. Peter, who is always there, showing up. Even though he's not making sales, showing up, showing up. Because as it relates to entrepreneurship, you never know the day that's Christmas. You never know. So if I decide to come to or you know do my business just on Monday, and somebody does his business, you know, Monday, which is first, okay, let's say Monday is first. And somebody does his business from first to 31st. Who do you think is going to be more successful? The person that shows up. The person that shows up. If you had a job and you only show up once a month, they'll fire you, obviously. You're not useful. So if you have that mentality when it comes to having a job, why do you think you would be in business and you can't, you know, you don't and you won't want to be success, like, like consistent and hit your success, then it's going to be trouble. If you desire massive results, consistency is the way on how to do it. The day you decide to be consistent, everything changes. And with entrepreneurship, nobody's going to hold you accountable and say, oh, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. No, you're your own boss. You hold yourself accountable. That is the bad part with entrepreneurship. So if you've not, if you've not mastered the art of self-discipline, to discipline yourself to do the things you're supposed to do when you don't feel like it, it's going to be very difficult for you to succeed. So consistency is key. Now, another important thing is that understand that there's a difference between being in business, which is entrepreneurship, and having a job, self so like being employed, okay? Being employed and being in business, there's a big difference. And what I was doing while blogging was, I just, I was trying to like fix this job mentality into it. And, you know, I was doing it when I wanted to do it, like as if it was a job or something. And, you know, when it comes to having a job, you know, you do this, you see this result, you're expecting something more then there's, there's this, you know, understanding as regards to time, you get me? But with entrepreneurship, you do it when, <laughs> at any point in time. And, and the worst part was that, you know, I was into blogging and news pops up, you know, when you don't expect it. And you are struggling to make sure that your content is the first content out there, trying to beat every other person. And it was crazy. It was crazy. And nobody, nobody, nobody trained, like nobody was trained to say, <laughs> this is how it is. Oh. <laughs> no, no, nah, nah. So I had to learn the hard way. I had to understand that, you know, this is another world on its own. Whether you like it or not, you know, you have to do this. There's no time for it. When you're called upon, you take charge, you know, you deliver, you deliver, you deliver. And wow. Wow. So understand, understand that when you become an entrepreneur or as you're an entrepreneur, the job mindset has to go. Like our whole life will be programmed to, you know, this whole job, job, job mentality and trying to accept, you know, the mindset of an entrepreneur is a huge deal. And for some people, when they try it and they get that big blue, boom, they just give up. They're like, ah, it's so difficult. I cannot do it. And they quit. But mind you, 99% of the successful people out there are all entrepreneurs because entrepreneurs are problem solvers. We're just trying to solve a problem out there. That's it. If you desire to solve a problem, you know, that's the first journey was entrepreneurship. So ask yourself, as an entrepreneur, what problem are you solving? For those that are about to become entrepreneurs, what problems do you intend to start solving? Once you have that answer, you're good to go. As easy as that, that's the first step. Identify the problem you want to solve, and then you build up a system to solve it. Once you do that, everything you know starts to flow. Now, another key thing I want you to learn from you know my mistake is that you cannot succeed alone. 
you know, whatever you are doing, you cannot succeed alone. Nobody has actually got into the top. I, the fact that, you know, they call some people self-made, self-made, self-made billionaire, self-made billionaire. <laughs> God, we have to, we have to start using the right word. That person wasn't self-made. The person did not literally wake up and, you know, walk alone to that level. So nobody is ever self-made. We worked with certain people. We had a team to drive us to that level. My issue then was I was just doing it alone. I was doing it alone. And then I discovered that, you know, to really get to the top of the mountain, you need a team. You need people to work on this aspect. While you're working on this aspect, both of you join heads together. Ladies and gentlemen, two heads are better than one. So you are coming with your broken piece, another person is coming with a broken piece, and you know, you make this fantastic bond. And then you share ideas, you walk, you, you rub minds together, you get better, you get better, you improve on yourself, and you delegate and you grow faster. If you want to go fast in life, you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, far, go with a team. Teamwork always makes a dream work. So if you really, really want to get to the top, it's in the Bible, you know. The Bible is there. Even God, you know, he had to hold a session, a, a brief session with Father, Son, like Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to decide, let us, let us make man in our own image and likeness. So why are you trying to do things alone? Impossible. You cannot succeed alone. Even Moses, Moses was like, I can't do this alone. And he had Aaron. Boom. Okay. Jesus had 12 disciples and he dominated the whole world. Why are you still doing it alone? I'm telling you, see, if you apply all this, if you apply all this, the sky is your starting point. So whatever you are doing, how do you start partnering with other people? Let's work this out. I, I'm, this is my strength. This is your weakness. Your weakness is my strength. How can we add up and move together? How? So partnership, partnership, partnership. Work together. Work with somebody. Stop doing it alone. At the end of the day, you, you keep doing it alone. You just get frustrated. You get depressed and you give up. So nobody gets to the top alone. Impossible. Nobody has ever. Nobody will ever. That's just the way it is. Now, um, focus, 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 okay? If you really want to do this, you have to be focused. I'm not talking about being a blogger. As an entrepreneur, if you really want to do this, you have to be focused. You cannot be one leg in, one leg out. You know, you have a job, you're trying to balance your business. No, no. Mm -mm. You cannot achieve or attain that level of success you desire. So you have to, um, if you have a magnifying glass, you put it under the sun. Now it's focused on, if you, if you try it, you just wound yourself. Let's say you focus it on your skin. It's going to burn. That, that's the level of focus. So if you really want to do this, you cannot be an, a part-time entrepreneur, okay, and succeed. No. No. You can win at that level, but you can never be a champion at that level. Two different things. You can win, okay, just make small money, do, you know, make little impact. But if you really, really want to dominate, if you really, really want to be a legend at that specific thing you're doing, you have to be very focused, laser focused, crystal clear focused. It has to be what you do in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, you know, two, four, seven. If you are called upon, they know you are doing this. But if you only do it when you feel like doing it, you're not focused. You can't get the results you want. As easy as that. So ask yourself, first of all, why am I doing this? Why? When you identify, identify your why, you know, nothing holds you back. You, you, you just go all in. You go all in and you really, really do this to the best of your ability. But if you're not focused and you can't succeed, I'm telling you, this is it. Go through, like, 
majority, every successful person, they have a pinch of what I'm listing out to you here right about now. Being focused is key. Be focused at it, even though you're not seeing results. Because I, I went all in and, you know, I did it for a year. There was no result. So I was like putting in money, but, you know, no money was coming out. And it was frustrating. It was frustrating. It was depressing. You know, you get you, you start questioning yourself. Is this really it? Is this really it? And at some point you're like, you know, I give up, I give up or something. But this is part of the journey. It's building you, making you become better and, you know, taking you to a higher level, giving you that thick skin to handle what under normal circumstances certain people cannot handle. So you can do it. Anybody can do it. Anybody. Now, another key thing there is, are you here? Are you here to dominate or compete? Are you here to dominate or compete? Because most people come into business, uh, you know, people are doing it too, you want to do it. And welcome. Okay, welcome. Join the queue. At that level, you cannot succeed, you know, at the highest peak. You cannot be significant at whatever you're doing because you are only here to compete. But the day you decide to dominate, everything changes. That's another, that's the higher stage. People that are dominating and people that are competing. For example, iPhone is dominating. iPhone is dominating. iPhone is dominating, okay? Techno is competing. Levels. Techno is competing. iPhone is dominating. Techno is competing. Would you want to be a techno or an iPhone? Once you understand that, you know, everything changes. So how do you dominate? Okay, you have to create attention, massive attention, using your phone, social media, everywhere, you know. Let the whole world know you. And the only way that can happen is, you know, you're getting out there. You're being significant. If you're staying till the end, I'll show you how, you know, we can have that sorted out. And you learn how to be significant. Okay? There's a huge difference from being, you know, successful, being significant, being relevant. Big difference. So I'm going to show you how to be significant online. Because whether we like it or not, the whole world, the whole attention of the whole world is shifting. It's shifting online now. So how do you get yourself there? So that once everybody's attention is fully turned there, you know, you're the first person we see. It's very important. Very, very important. Another key thing there is that, you know, when I started, I didn't have like a specific goal and say, okay, this is my annual goal. Uh, this is this is my monthly goal. This is my weekly goal. This is my daily goal. I just came in the mindset that, you know, at the end of the day, I'll blow. I'll blow, I'll blow, I'll blow. Man, I didn't blow. To be honest, I didn't blow. I didn't blow. Because it is one thing to understand <laughs> everybody has his own definition of blue. And I'm telling you, I didn't blow. I did not blow because I didn't have any goal. For you to have a goal, you have to monitor your numbers. You have to study your growth. You have to look at your revenue, rise, rise, rise. Okay, I did this this month. How do I duplicate? How do I expand? How do... There was no goal. I was just doing it. And just the way, if you decide to do whatever you are doing, anyhow, okay, it's going to pay you anyhow. But if you're intentional about what you're doing, your income is going to be very, very intentional income. Very fantastic income. But if you just do it, you know, whatever result you see, take it. And guess what? Most of the times, you will not get any result. None. None, no results will come to you. So it's 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 key that whatever you are doing, you know, you set goals for yourself. Tomorrow we are getting into a new month. How are you going to start setting goals for yourself to dominate in December? How are you like uh, while in December? That's when you're planning how your new year is going to look like. 
what are your goals for 2021? It is now. Now is the right time to start planning for the next one year, the next two years, the next three years, the next four years, five years. It is now. If you've not started now, you are doing it all wrong. So start now. Okay? Your goal has to be smart, specific, measurable, okay? Authentic or accurate. Um, realistic. Don't lie to yourself. Realistic goal and time-bound. Within this specific period of time, I'm supposed to achieve this. This is it. There's a video on my previous video where we talked about setting goals and everything. You can see that. Go watch it for yourself and, you know, understand how to set goals. But your goals have to be smart. Very, very smart. Very smart goals. If they are not smart, you can never achieve them. Now, the, the most important of this all, okay, is your mindset. Your mindset. Because if you still have the mindset of an employee, okay, you can never succeed being an entrepreneur. So you have to go back and reformat your system and decide to start learning all over again. If you cannot accept the, the changes that come with entrepreneurship, you cannot succeed. A, a huge change, a very huge change is understanding times and seasons. Because what used to be relevant in the year 2000 is no longer re relevant now. So if you were to start a business then, the business model would be different from what you are starting now, 20 years later. 20 years later. Far different. So the question is, ask yourself, what is working now? Okay? Not... What do I like now or what do I think uh, is okay or what am I comfortable with? No. Ignore what you like. Ignore what you're comfortable with. Ask yourself, what is really working right about now? The way of making money 10 years ago is different from the way of making money 2020. And it's still going to be different the way we'll be making money 2030. The question is, how is it being done then? How is it being done now? Okay. What are the projections against 2030? When you have all this settled, okay, you now understand the kind of business model you should be looking towards. But if you don't and you ignore this, because see, there are principles to wealth creation. There are principles to business, okay? Just the way if you plant um, during planting season, you're going to reap, okay? And if you plant during <laughs> reaping season, you're just confused. There'll be no harvest for you. So there are times and seasons, there are principles to life. Apply those principles. They work for you. The rule of gravity. What goes up must come down. Okay? There's just no way, you know, you go to the top of a 20-story building and you jump and you tell yourself, I'm going to fly. Obviously. Obviously. That's going to be the end of you and nobody will come for your burial. I'm telling you, just ask yourself, what's happening now? What's working now? How can I use this to dominate? How can I use this to achieve massive results? Understand times and season. If you have no idea what's time and season, the comment section is all yours. Dive in down deep and I'll break it down for you. Now, I'm sure you follow through with me where, you know, the 10 lessons I just shared which I really missed out from why being a blogger, something that made me not to succeed at the level I really wanted to succeed. And the first was that I didn't have a niche. There was no mentor. I didn't have any blueprints to work on. I wasn't consistent. You know, I had this job mentality that this is, this is like a work or something. It wasn't really business, okay? And I was doing it alone. I didn't have any focus, you know, I was doing one leg here, one leg there. I was distracted, no focus. And I was just doing it to compete, okay? I wasn't really doing it to dominate. So I was doing it to compete. I had no goals. I was hoping I would just blow out of it. And then I lacked the understanding of time and season. I lacked the fundamental mindset and entrepreneur 
is supposed to have. I lack the principles of wealth creation. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to me and you're at this point, all that I mentioned, you have no idea what it is. You are in bigger trouble. So you have to go back and watch this all over again and take notes. Because this is something that, you know, I had to learn the hard way in my four years. In my four years. And I just give it to you in well over 30 to 45 minutes. Should you choose to accept this, it will save you a, a four years, a complete four years. And don't you think that that would be wise? I think so. Because when I was at your level, I didn't get this. I didn't get this. So you should be privileged enough that, you know, somebody just shared with you and said, this is a blueprint you can use to succeed. I didn't have the blueprint. Now you do work with it and you'll be successful. My wish for you is that you accept it and not only accept it, but you begin to apply it. Because it's one thing to ask, you know, have all the information, it's another thing to apply it and get massive results. So I sincerely wish you do. Sincerely wish you do. Because most, most of the times we are blinded by, you know, other people's results and we want to do what they are doing. Okay, you want to do what they are doing. I'm closing. But you are not willing to do what they did. Okay? You want to do what they did, but you don't want to do what they, you want to do what they do, you don't want to do what they did. It is the deed that will drive you to the do. So if you are not interested in the deed, in paying the price for the late nights. Okay, the irregular work hours, the early mornings, then don't expect the results these people are having. It's as easy as that. If you're not willing to be committed, you're not willing to be consistent, you're not willing to be focused, you're not willing to develop yourself, you're not willing to have a mentor, just forget about it. You can only admire the lifestyle, but you cannot, you cannot have it. Understand that, see, anybody can be successful, but not everybody will be successful because not everybody is willing to pay the price for success. The question is, are you willing to pay that price? Are you? The day you decide on that, everything, everything changes. Everything changes. Now, for those of you that are still to the end, before I give you my offer, click the subscribe button, okay? Click on it, turn on post notification. If you're on Facebook, the like button is there and you turn on post notification. My offer is this. My offer is this. For those of you that have stayed to the end, I want to show you how you can be significant online. Okay. Um, just, you know, look me up. Emmanuel Zeve, you search on Google and you see the results. That's, that's being significant. Okay. Being significant online. I'm not saying being, I'm going to show you how to be popular. I'm showing you how to gain followers, gain subscribers. No. I want to show you how to be significant. If you're interested in that, just go to the comment section and comment, I am interested. I am interested in being significant. I would like to know more. I am interested in being significant. Just, just drop a comment and I'll attend to you individually. Okay? That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Then, you know, we'll take it up from there. It's not meant for everybody, just specific people that will do that, you know, or attend to you. So this video is going to be on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, the first 10 persons, the first 10 persons. And I'll share you something on, you know, how you can actually achieve all this for free. You're not paying for it. You're not paying for it. It's totally free. It's totally free. Now, as always, I tell you this, more the inspiration is, you know, just my own experience coming in from within, you know, it's not really to motivate you, okay? To, you know, go do whatever whatever you already know you are supposed to do. There's no point in motivating you because once you're motivated and, you know, internally the button or, 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 or the light bulb is not turned on, the switch is not flipped, nothing's going to happen. You just feel, you know, activated at that point and, 
once it's over, you know, you're back to your shop. Monday inspiration is to tell you that somebody has been in your shoes before and the person is still here, still pushing. So whatever you're facing, there's nothing new. Somebody has faced it before. Somebody has, has been there, done that, bond that, but what the shit. The question is, are you going to give heed to all the excuses and give up? Or are you still going to keep pushing? Because anybody can be successful. Anybody. But are you willing to pay that price? Ladies and gentlemen, this is it for Monday Inspiration today. As always, my goal is to get you to a point where life becomes life. It becomes something, you know, fulfilling, which is meant to be. And for this to happen, you have to get better. For things to change, you have to change. The only way you change is by accepting information and applying it into your life. So I'll see you all same time next week with something ravishing. Same time next month. So it's December. December is going to be power packed. It's going to be amazing. You know, it's the real month of love. The month that we, you know, we have time for family and we bond. It's the last month of the year. So even though I won't be there to wish you a happy new month, I want you to know that I am here for you. And whatever you're facing, it's not in you. Okay, reach out, talk to people. Don't hold on to it alone. Okay. Uh, a pigeon adage will say, a person will raise a hand, neither the help. Okay, so speak up, speak up. You have a gift of vocality. Let the world know what's happening. We are here for you. We are all here for you. So thank you very much. If you go value so far to the end, go to the comment section and, you know, write down, I go value, I go value, I go value and all that. Now, don't forget to share. Don't forget to share this with friends, you know, family and all that. Thank you so very much for being with me to the very end. So same time next month, Monday, 11 a.m., Monday Inspiration. Let's go tell the world that entrepreneurship is the way to go. Thank you.